Today was an awkward kind of day. Um, I am working on my nicotine patches and stuff, but, like, I wanted a cigarette, right? And I walked up to the young man's door, and I was like, well, what is that smell? And I was actually glad he was in the um, house, because sometimes he goes out and stuff. And with the trash cans in which I use for laundry baskets, I was like, I can give up a laundry basket for your house don't stink. And I told him that in order for you to receive this trash can, you have to give me your trash can. Because that's how bad it was. And like when I lifted it up, he was like, it's a bag in there. I said, ain't no bag in there. And whatever kind of bugs, trash cans, um... Leave when you don't put a trash bag in there or the trash has been sitting there for however long or whatever is what I saw. And so, um, I just gave him one of my trash cans. Yeah, I don't have a lot of storage places, you know what I'm saying? But I have somewhere where when my clothes are dirty, let me put this in this, um, this, um, bag and this in a trash can. This year, it looks more, I think, presentable. But because he needed a trash can, I just gave him the trash can. Because you need it more than I do, regardless that I really needed it. Like, um, <clears throat> so, like, going through my dirty clothes, um, and yeah, I know the, the, the difference between the clean stuff and the dirty stuff, but, um, I have to be mindful of using bleach. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I'm allergic to some detergents, then I know I would have to be careful and cautious about using bleach. So, like, I have a bag of white clothes that I need to wash. And the reason that it hasn't been washed is because um, it needs some bleach. Or something that I know, like, yeah, the detergent is going to wash the clothes, yeah, but it needs that extra crisp or whatever. So... I got to get some bleach and I'm going to just get like the little small bottle to wash the white clothes. Um, I did get the opportunity to wash my masses, but I keep having all, um, asthma attacks from the wearing the masses. But the man told me if I use the paper ones, I'm not going to have that same um, effect or whatever. So, United Health sent me a mask, and that mask is very helpful with my breathing, okay? Um, it is. Somebody didn't set off the fire alarm. Um. Okay. All right, so, sorry, the alarm. Oh, somebody's in the office, they cut the alarm off. Sometimes I be thinking, like, people be in the office playing with the alarms and stuff, making people feel like they losing their mind or something. Like, they're trying to get everybody to um, do the alarm thing. Everybody, let's go outside. Or whatever. And... Uh, sometimes it should be like, it's just like, um, uh, nah, today ain't a good day to be going outside. But, um, I do have to finish with my schoolwork. Um, I want the ladies to know that there are, when, when the doctors is just getting hip to the doctor game, they can't determine herpes from a boil, okay? Um, so, and then there's a difference in, a, um, when you look at the doctor show, the lady on cable, you start to actually understand what is, what is what kind of bump from another kind of bump that you might receive, okay? I just want ladies to be mindful, Okay. Um, though the antibiotic that I have to take is, I feel like it's going to kill off 
whatever that is bothering my insides, okay? And I never took that. Having a boil, like, I never got that antibiotic before. That in particular kind. Um, I haven't. Um, like, they just send you away with, it's going to drain, and I don't get any antibiotics. But I think, though, when I use that spray, that's that hair stop spray, I feel like, um, that's basically, like, helping me with, because I'm a hairy person, so when I shave, it's subject to be a boil to occur. So, I feel like the spray helped with the die off of the uh the infection like it it brought on an infection, meaning eventually I was gonna have a boil. That's how I felt um but it took the boil away like it took the boil from this huge it was like really huge on my butt. On the inner side, it was like sitting like right here, and then it went like to like from way up here to like right here on my leg, where it's like this itty bitty now on the side of my vagina. But I feel like that the spray helped me. Okay, so then the second one, the second kind of spray that I use, okay was a very stronger spray for the situation like i really thought like oh my goodness i am not gonna have any more hair i'm so tired of this this hair everywhere you know what i'm saying but i feel like that second spray and it give you heartburn so you feel like you're ready to die like basically like and it gives you a horrible and it has this and then you use the spray, right? Like, and it, and it gives you, like, this odor. This strange odor. Okay, so I feel like when I take this antibiotic, right? It's going to kill off whatever of the bacteria infection away. Now, with this little strange odor... That I have occurred to have. Um, I mean, I gotta take more showers. Is what it means. But I feel like um, the odor will go away with the antibiotic. That's how. Just that's just how I feel about it. Maybe I won't have that type of odor, like in the odor be right here. Like I sprayed it everywhere because I have hair everywhere, so I sprayed it everywhere. But the odor be like right here. Like as soon as I get the sweat. And I be like oh my goodness. That spray is pouring out of me. Now do. I wish I had not used the spray. In a way yeah. Because then I got this, this strange uh, odor type of a thing. And this come from because I sprayed that spray. So now. Now after I take the antibiotic. The, the the trials and the test is, would that the strange odor go away? Or have, have I actually fixed the boil problem completely? Because say that, you know, like, we're removing your hair, or we're stopping the hair. Are you removing whatever, um, I don't want to call it a disease, you feel me? I don't. But it, it it's like, is it removing this in particular, I, I guess, I guess the word would be like disease. But it's not like a disorder. So I guess this in particular disease from me. That, that's what I am really like thinking, you know, like, is it going to remove this in particular thing from me? Whatever, like whatever caused it, you know. That's, that's just what, how I'm feeling about the situation. Okay. So. Well, one last thing I would like to say is that God is a good God. 
you know, and, you know, like, I have to stand up to the person who raped me. Then when it's a family member, it's like, well, we all have to be in the same room and we all have to get along. Okay. So I had decided to take a step up where, um, a step up meaning I would like to take a picture with just me and my uncle. You know, my mother has to be center of attention and she feel like she has to be in a picture. But in order for us to grow, yeah, me and several of my cousins and my little sister went through this with this one in particular person. Yeah, you know, and I, and I really get that. But I just felt like a picture with you will last a long way. Where I never, like, after the situation occurred, I didn't talk to him anymore. Um, but then we're all family. And we all got to get along in some shape or form. And I just feel like if I take a picture with him, would this make the situation to be a better situation? Or how would the situation turn around? You know what I'm saying? Because one of my cousins um, is, 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 um, is married to a, a girl. And every time she see me, I don't know if she thinks like, I'm not, I'm going to love you less. I say, sweetheart, whoever you with, I'm going to love you regardless. As long as they ain't doing nothing stupid to you. Don't have me to have to go to Brooklyn, New York. You can see, because it's like, when I'm taking trips to New York, it's who the hell I got to beat up. And now, can I just chill and relax in the state of New York? You know what I'm saying? And so, like, my brother-in-law, he's the rainbow, too. You feel me? And, um, but he has chosen to be with a girl. And, you know, I have come to terms with, like, bruh, if being with a boy is a better situation, be with a boy. Y'all can adopt some kids. Y'all can live a loveless life. You feel me? And, and it's like some type of, um. Uh, I don't know, acceptance that they need or something. I'm going to love you all the same. You're still my brother. You're still my little cousin. I love you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Society got people going stupid. No matter who your ass with. If I was with a girl today or tomorrow, I would want love for my family. That's it. Just love. You know, love your children, love your family members. But the love ain't supposed to go in between your pants. That's what I learned from the state of Virginia. For real.